Getting old. It's something we're all doing right now. You know, this very moment, whether you believe it or not. We usually count our age in years, but the phrase, life is a journey, is honestly one of the most honest phrases we have in our world. Over the course of human history, the life expectancy of people has gone from barely surviving childbirth to now going between 70, 80, and even 90 years old, depending on whom you ask. <laughs> But we can say that the people that we're going to talk about today didn't get that memo because they're much older than that and they're fine with it. Here now are 20 oldest humans to ever live. Number 20. Chitetsu Watanabe this first one has honestly a bit of tragedy to it, but I'm going to tell you about it anyways. The oldest man in the world breaks the silence before his death and reveals his secret. Chichetsu Watanabe was a man who, in February of 2020, would be labeled officially by the Guinness Book of World Records as the oldest man on Earth. He was 112 years and 344 days old when he got that honor, so where's the tragedy? Well, he would die two weeks later. So he literally got the award and then soon passed on, almost as if he had stayed around long enough to get the record and then just died because he didn't need to keep on living. Or at least that's how some are going to read into it. This super centenarian left behind five children, two grandchildren, 16 great-grandchildren, and one great-great-grandchild. So if nothing else, he did get to the birth and growth of his family, and he got to celebrate a great many things with them. Watanabe is the eldest of eight children, born in 1907. After graduating from agricultural school, he then began working for a sugar plantation, eventually relocating to Taiwan for work. There he would marry his wife Mitsu and began a family. Then in 1944, toward the end of the Second World War, he served in the Japanese military. With his career behind him, he devoted himself to his favorite hobbies. He and his son Tetsuo built a house on farmland where Watanabe grew potatoes, tomatoes, strawberries, and plums, a pursuit that he had maintained until he was 104 years old. As for his secret to life, he would note that it was to be happy and keep smiling. His wife also said that she had lived with him for over 50 years and had never even seen him raise his voice or get angry, and any time that his wife had a project, he was the one that would give her the most praise. Having lived with such a big family under one roof and mingling with his grandchildren and great-grandchildren all helped him to keep a smile on his face as well. Before we go on, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now, or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Number 19. Mahashta Marasi so, the last person that I talked about had a confirmed date of birth and the records to prove that he made it to 112 years old. But the next one doesn't have that, and that's what makes his claim a bit more interesting and possibly even fake. According to officials, this person was born and brought up in Bangalore and is recorded to have lived in Varanasi since 1903. He worked as a cobbler in the city until 1957 and then retired at the already venerable age of 100. 122 years old, or so he claims. He claims that he was actually born in 1835, which in 2004, when his story was told, would have made him about 179 years old. The man's birth certificate and identity cards all seem to confirm his version, but unfortunately, no medical examination could confirm what he was saying. Now, it is possible for a man or woman to live to be 179. Theoretically, yes, we all know the ancient story stories and tales of people who have lived hundreds of years due to their strength, blessings from gods, and more. But in modern history, there hasn't been one proven to get over 150, let alone even close to 180. So then becomes the question, why would the man lie? Well, nobody can answer that because nobody knows the man. However, it should be noted that people do weird things for attention, and someone disproving that he was 179 would not only be quite the investigator, 
but would also take some serious work. So for now, you'll just have to decide for yourself whether or not he's telling the truth. Number 18. Luang Fo Ya one could argue if there was someone who could live to an extremely long set of years, it would be a Buddhist monk, mainly because monks train their minds, bodies, and spirits to achieve feats that are honestly superhuman, oh, and some that are fake, but we'll go into that in a different video. In the case of Luang Fo Ya, he did live up to the hype that was just built up because he lived to be 109 years old. Believe it or not, just before his death, he was actually becoming a star on TikTok. You see, his grand granddaughter took a video of him in his old and frail state, being with her and his great-granddaughter, a very unique sight for the video service. The video clips also quickly spawned a number of false claims, which included that the monk was 163 years old and that he was a 399-year-old woman, and that he was also undertaking the Japanese practice of something I'm not going to attempt to pronounce, which refers to self-mummification. Obviously, this was debunked, but it's funny to see how people react to things at times. After his death, his granddaughter would post videos showing memorial images and funeral rites. Other videos appear to show his cremation and the collection of his ashes. By her own admission, he was in the hospital, where the videos were taken, due to him breaking a hip, but he also had vision and hearing issues which made it difficult to communicate with him. However, the granddaughter also showed a lot of love and compassion for him and was very happy that her videos were being seen and that people were sending well wishes. So maybe that is the secret to respecting our elders. We just have to put them on the TikTok. Number 17. The Oldest Human Here's another story of a person who claims to be much older than they likely should be. As in 2017, a man from Indonesia was reported to have died, but that wasn't the new story as you would imagine. Rather, it was that of how the man reported himself to be 146 years old. According to his papers, the man was born in December of 1870, but Indonesia only began recording births in 1900, and there have been mistakes before, so it wouldn't be the most odd thing in the world for him to actually be as old as he claims. Then again, some might object to how many with no papers conveniently is that old. Yet officials told the BBC his papers were valid based on documents that he provided and interviews with him. When asked about the secret of his longevity, he would tell the BBC that patience was the key and that he had a long life because he had people that loved him looking after him. It's a very touching sentiment and one that many people would actually believe because of the power of love has long been shown to do many wondrous things. No matter what though, he did have some impressive feats to his age, such as how he outlived four wives, ten siblings, and all of his children. In his village, he was a local hero who was famous for telling telling great stories about the wars against Japan and the Dutch colonizers. Oh, and apparently he was also a chain smoker. And while that usually would be a red flag for dying at an early age, it didn't hurt Winston Churchill all that much. So why not this grandpa? Number 16. Luo Mezen. Ready for another tale of a person saying that they were possibly older than they actually are? If so, we'll go from Indonesia to China to meet Luo Mezen. Back in 2012, she celebrated her 127th birthday, or so she claimed at the time. Had it been verified, she would have been the oldest person who ever lived. However, that was impossible to conclude because while she says that she was born in 1885, birth certificates in the region only started to be kept after after the 1949 communist takeover. All she has is a faded copy of our identity card from 2011, which is not exactly the proof that's needed to get to the record holder level. Believe it or not though, there are some who think there's a reason for this kind of longevity, not just in her, but in others as well. <laughs> because they work from sunrise to sunset, climb mountains doing farm work, get adequate sleep, sleep in separate beds from their spouses, and many soak their feet in hot water every night. People in the region mostly eat vegetables that grow naturally without pesticides, and they even eat small amounts of meat and don't like fried food. While that may sound odd to some of us, there have been many who have had a hard-working natural life that's led them to living a long time because their bodies were simply better suited for lasting 
longer. Plus, with only natural elements in them, more or less, they had less to suffer from. Well, in theory, of course. That's one of the problems with measuring ages, as you will see. If they were to go from a certain point in time, in a certain region, there's no real way to confirm how old they are or aren't. Number 15. Hiromon Kimura now let's take a look back into the realms of confirmed history, as back in 2013, Hiromon Kimura was the oldest living man in the world, topping the confirmed list of people that I've talked about before by being 116 years old. In December of 2012, the Guinness World Records recorded him as the oldest man ever verified to have lived. He reportedly had seven children, 14 grandchildren, 25 great-grandchildren, and 13 great-great grandchildren, so not unlike the first entry, he had a large family to watch to grow and thrive, which no doubt made him very happy. Speaking of which, there were many theories by him and his family as to why he was able to live so long. One of the ones that his family proposed was that he had a strong will to live, which many do acknowledge as the reason for many to get through the things that we do. The man himself thought that it might have been because he looks at the sky, which might have been his way of saying how he appreciates nature and the world around him. But arguably, his most popular reason was that he would eat light to live long. You can make of that what you will, but it is true that many people who are bound to life by what they eat for better and for worse. Either way though, he was taken care of by his family all the way up until the end of his life, which was in June of 2013. Still, you simply can't deny that 116 years is a heck of a run, and one could only imagine all the stories that he had to tell from his life and what he had gone through. Number 14. Jeannie Louise Calment this next one is a very interesting story because the tale of Jeannie Louise Calment has been questioned and debated, but the Guinness Book of World Records claims that she was indeed the oldest person to ever live that could be verified in terms of documents. Those documents have been questioned, but as of 2022, they haven't been debunked, so make of that what you will. One of the big ironies of Jeannie Louise Calment was that the French woman was not one who did anything super special in order to get to the age in which she lived. In this case, that would be 122 years and 164 days, which is a whole lot of mileage on the body, so you'd swear she had some kind of secret, right? But no, she didn't. In fact, many would agree that the only real factor that she had in her life was a lack of stress. <laughs> Are you confused? Well, her life was one of luxury from nearly start to finish. She came from a very wealthy family, thus wanted for nothing. Then she married her double second cousin, don't even know what that means and I'm not going to ask, who just happened to be wealthy himself. Then when she got older, she sold her apartment in a deal that would get her money every month until she died. She outlived the man with whom she made the deal, and his family had to keep paying until she was gone. So yeah, the woman had a pretty unique life right up until the end. It should also be noted that though other members in her family also had an odd longevity, including multiple people within her immediate kin all living past 90, so perhaps that played into it as well. Number 13. Emiliano Mercada del Toro Next up, we have this person who was actually just a little more than a year younger than Jeannie, and by that I mean like a year and nine days. It was pretty close. At the time of his death in January of 2007, at the age of 115 years and 156 days, he was one of the few fully validated oldest living people in the world. More would come later, obviously, and that also got him a lot of fame and attention. One of the ironies here is that he actually went unnoticed until almost the end of his life. He would not be discovered age-wise until he was 110 years old. Tantos años. And he was in a parade in his home of Puerto Rico when someone wrote a story about him. After that came the various documents that were sent in to verify that he was indeed that old. As a veteran of the First World War, he broke the record for the longest lived veteran of any military force, which came in handy because in 1993 he would be honored by U.S. President Bill Clinton with a medal commemorating the 75th anniversary of the signing of the truce that ended World War I. In contrast to the others I've talked about, 
about so far, Emiliano didn't have any wives or children, though he did joke about three girlfriends that he had had in his life. Clearly, he was just fine working the cane fields until he was 81 and then just being around. Number 12. Doña Leandra Becerra Lumbreras. That's a name and a half. Wow. Doña was another in a long line of people who claimed to be very old, and though I'll be fair to her, she didn't claim to be that much older than the oldest person ever. She claimed to only be 127 years old, which to be honest is not that far from 122, so it could actually be possible. Her long life was attributed to a healthy appetite and lots of sleep, which is yet another reason it could be possible that she lived that long, as that's a way that many people say that you get to have that kind of longevity in your life. She enjoyed singing to her grandchildren and flirting with young men who came to visit, which instantly makes her awesome in my book. She never did marry and attributed that as well to her long life. But she did have five children, all of whom died before her. She was a seamstress for much of her life and a floozy, apparently, and she used that to support her family up until she couldn't do it anymore. Doña was a very kind person, though, and loved to chat with people, even though she was partially deaf there at the end. Even without her children being around, she had plenty of descendants through her children and great-grandchildren to keep her happy and her legacy to live on. So while she was never verified as the oldest woman ever, I'm pretty sure that she didn't really care. Number 11. Li Ching Yuan now, I just talked about a woman who had a plausible age that couldn't be confirmed, but now I'm going to speak about a man whose age has been stated to be insanely long, and as a result, he's been universally rebuked by all but his true believers. But why is that? Well, while many can easily confirm that he died in 1928, he actually claimed to have been born in 1734. That means that he allegedly lived to be 196 years old. That would be decades beyond the age of what Genie lived, and he would have had to have done it in the age well before modern medicine. Now, he claimed, and others have claimed as well, that due to his skills as an herbalist, that he found the secrets of youth and thus was able to extend his life well beyond the mortal bounds. But there's honestly no proof about any of that. In fact, his claim is so wild, and his place in history in terms of when he lived was so undocumented at points that people can't even prove if he was even just a hundred years old. As I've shown you, birth records for common folk back in the 1800s and before weren't the best kept, so his claims about being nearly 200 years old could never truly be proven without something really special coming forward, and it hasn't so far, and likely never will. Number 10. Lucille Randon now I'll talk about someone who's actually still alive today and claims to be the oldest person around right now. This is Sister Andre. Well, at least that's her nun name. Lucille Randon, known as Sister Andre, was born in southern France on February 11th of 1904, when World War I was still a decade away. She now lives at a nursing home in Toulon along the Mediterranean coast, beginning every day with breakfast and then a morning mass, though her eyes can no longer see. To be clear, she does have the title of oldest person in the world right now as she's 118 years old, and a woman who was older than her died not too long before that point. She apparently gets a lot of attention for being so old and doesn't really mind it one bit. Number 9. Christian Mortensen. For this man's story, we have to go back a ways because for Christian Mortensen, he was 114 all the way back in 1997. And if you can't guess, he's passed away since then. But one of the things that makes his story so special is that not unlike a set of other men I've talked about so far, he was a famous smoker. In fact, when he was being interviewed about his age, he very happily lit up a cigar before them. Mortensen was born Thomas Peter Thorvald Christian Ferdinand Mortensen on August 16th of 1882 in Denmark. He was actually alive when our oldest person ever in Genie was still alive, so when she passed, he noted that he was sure that he was the oldest man alive at the time. And he had quite a life. Despite only having a short-lasting marriage, he had all sorts of jobs through the years and lived in 26 different states. Number 8. Walter Bruning 
Next up, we have Walter Bruning, who was the oldest man living at the time of his death back in 2011 at the ripe old age of 114. He had many stories to tell, both from his life and the life of his father who had fought in the American Civil War. In fact, he was one to try and stop wars from going on, even trying to help stop the fighting in Iraq and Afghanistan. One thing that he was very adamant about, though, was his diet, which he kind of chastised people for not being able to do themselves. He had told people to get on a diet and stay on it because they would find that they were very much in better shape and would feel good. He was equally as blunt about his life coming to an end, saying that everyone was going to die, and some people may be scared of that, but never be afraid to die because you were actually born to die. Number 7. Emma Moreno Going to 2017, we'll now praise the life of Emma Moreno, who passed away at the age of 117. The Italian would be born on November 29th of 1899 and held the Guinness World Record titles for oldest living person and oldest living woman at the time. The Guinness Book would go on to say that she joined the celebrated Hall of Fame with her amazing achievement when she was announced in 2016 as being the oldest living female and then was officially confirmed as the oldest person to be born in the 1800s. Now, she did have thoughts on her longevity that were both inspirational and hilarious because the former was because she got away from an abusive relationship and the latter was because she ate raw eggs and cookies. Clearly, she was quite the woman. Number 6. Chio Miyako Chio Miyako was also a woman who was 117 when she died, and in fact, she died in 2018, not long after Emma passed. Miyako's family called her the goddess and remembered her as a chatty person who was patient and kind to others. Always something that you want to hear. She was also said to have loved to do calligraphy, which she did up until she literally couldn't anymore, and it's interesting to see two very long living people die so close to one another, but sometimes you just don't know when your time is going to come, and at least her family was there for her at the end of her journey. Number 5. Nabi Tahimi Nabi Tahimi was born on August 4th of 1900 and died in April of 2018. Didn't we just make a note of a bunch of long-lasting women living up until they were all around 117 and then dying so close to one another? If you're curious about how she passed, it was indeed due to her elderly age. She had been getting weaker over the last few months of her life, and as a result, she had to be taken to a hospital where she eventually passed on. Something you might have noticed is that there have been a lot of Japanese men and women who have lived very long lives. This is actually a trait of the country itself, and when Nabi died, the Japanese government said that over 68,000 people in the country were over 100 years old at that moment. Number 4. Gertrude Weaver the end of Gertrude Weaver's life is honestly a very sad one because a wish of hers didn't get to come true. She was 116 when she died, and she made a wish that for her 117th birthday that former President Barack Obama would come to visit her. Since she didn't get to that point, she couldn't have her wish come true. What's more, she died just five days after getting the record for the oldest person in the world, though her son noted that while it may not have lasted long, it did make her happy. She knew that she was the oldest person in the world, and she enjoyed the distinction greatly. Feels good. Feels good. So tell me. I never. What was her advice, though, to live a long life? It was to use a lot of skin moisturizer, treat everyone nice, and love your neighbor and eat your own cooking. And I simply can't disagree with that one. Number three, Francisca Santos. Going back to last year and to Brazil, we now look at Francisca Santos, who was the oldest person living in Brazil when she died at the age of 116. Sadly though, she passed from pneumonia just days before she was set to turn 117, and despite that, her granddaughter noted that she was famous for her love of family and others, saying that she was synonymous with love, with the will to live, and with everything good that could be imagined. The bond between grandchildren and great-grandchildren 
grandchildren, and even her great-great-grandchildren was strong. Although she couldn't move and was bedridden for a few years at the end of her life, there was a void that was left in every part of the house. No doubt her family will continue to remember and honor her as they live on with their lives, and that's all that anyone could ask for. Number 2. Maseo Akawa Maseo Akawa died back in 2015 when she was the age of, you guessed it, 117 years old. It's almost like there's a pattern here. Born on March the 5th of 1898, Akawa helped with her family's clothing business until she married when she was 21 and then had three children, three grandchildren, and six great-grandchildren. She held the record for oldest person living back in 2013, though obviously she didn't get to hold on to it for very long. She still had some fun at her party surrounded by her family. What's more, she also gave a very pointed statement when asked if being 117 meant that life was long or if it was short. She simply replied that it was short and clearly she knew what she was talking about. Number 1. Kane Tanaka Finally, we go to a passing that occurred just a few months ago, believe it or not. Kane Tanaka was the oldest living person in the world when she passed away in April at the age of 119. She was born all the way back in 1903 and got to see the rise of Japan as a global power, as well as arguably the most influential 100 plus years in human history. <laughs> Tanaka was the seventh of nine siblings, marrying at age 19, and ran various businesses, which included a noodle shop. She was also going to be a part of the Tokyo Olympics via the torch relay, but sadly never got to live that dream due to the global shutdown. When she got the title of oldest living person, she would note that she was as happy as she had ever been. That's all from the realm of really old people and how they're able to live their lives so long and so well. Are you amazed that so many people reach the ages of these? And which one of them do you think lived the most fulfilling life? How long do you plan to live for? Let me know all about it in the comments section down below. Check out the other cool things showing up on the screen, and I'll see you next time.